What's up everybody? Welcome to Gentry and Sons and welcome back to another video. So guys, I might be making a big mistake here. Uh, fuel pump just showed up for the classic and it's actually needing to leave here in the next 30 minutes to go on a load. It runs right now and it don't, you know, like it ain't to a point to where it could be a failure, I don't feel like. But I want to go ahead and change the fuel pump. I was going to wait. I was going to let it go ahead and go get loaded and then get back and then change the fuel pump. But I'm hoping and praying it's just a quick little easy to change the fuel pump, get it primed up, send it on the way. But it can always turn into a two-hour ordeal. Not want to prime back up. You know, one of them situations. But I'm hoping it just goes smooth. So we got that to do and tons of other things. All right, guys, got the fuel pump off. Now we gotta swap it around. All right, let's do this. Swap it around, buddy. Bud Row, We're gonna have a tool cleaning day is what me and you're gonna have. Find all my missing tools that Braxton's lost. Ain't that exciting? Uh, I get it, though. When I was your age, I did the same thing. <sighs> Boy, Dad used to get so mad at me. There's so many of his tools. All right. I need a little permatex around it, threads, make sure it ain't gonna leak. After you steal the valve cover on the move lock again. What? It's leaking again. We only had that thing apart 200 times. I think giving you a fit or something. I don't know how to put enough on it. I want to put like a little bit on it. How much is one of those costs? What? Fuel pump? Yeah. $400. Mm. Yeah. 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 I'm hoping and praying. Yeah. 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 Need the brown truck fixed. Yeah, now we're supposed to take it down. Please, this is for the, uh, the mullets. Where'd you put the bottom uh, line bolts? The what? Bottom line bolts. Uh. Uh, they're in the truck. Oh. Throw that on there. The ring's still good. We can still roll with that. You know what, Rex? What? I gotta pull that other one back off because I'm leery of something here. But you don't suck no air. I have been. Did I just do that? Yep. Oh, man, I put them in the wrong place. Wrong place. How did I do that? Gasket top thing that I don't know how it seals, but that is probably an issue right there. I mean, I don't ever have any problems with priming. Let's see. Started right up this morning. Yeah, it's probably a good cold start, huh? Yeah, you on video? No. Guys, Brax has been putting TikTok videos up cold starts on his truck. What's your TikTok called? Name. Brax and Gentry? Yeah. So if you look at Brax and Gentry on TikTok, Brax is on there. Yeah. That's your buddy. Cold start and rooster. Alright, new fuel pump is on. Alright, let's go put this thing together real quick and see what happens. You want to do? Uh, I'll start that one in the snow one day. Hey, it's getting ready to get cold. It's going to get some good cold start. Uh, 28 degrees out today. Did you find a gasket? I found a gasket. Hey. 
Oh, it's O-ring. Yeah. We are in business. Pump fits. All right, slip it on in, baby. Bam! Look at that. Now she's going to have all the fuel pressure. Boy, I hope that solves it. I do, too. I'm tired of fighting it. It's so close to right. It, it just wants to be. It's right there on the edge of being just perfect. It is. It's very, very close. Which tells you it's some little something stupid. I wish. I hope this is it. Because... Well, at least you got a code on it and you saw low fuel pressure, so it yeah. gives you a little warm, fuzzy feeling. Yeah, it, feels, it gives me a great feeling. You better use that ratchet I found you after I spent all the time looking for a socket. I'll tighten the back one up just for you. Okay. Did you bring it out with you? Oh, did you take it back in there? Yeah. No, not usually then. Unless you want to go get it. <laughs> no. That's like 100 yards. That's a long way for an old fat guy. It is. I got to get me a golf cart but i've been losing weight pretty good here because yeah. i'm always back and forth the only thing you don't have here is you need some steps yeah i was out in grand junction colorado picking up uh cletus's buggy yeah and we parked at the hotel and i was gonna run down the street and get some drinks at the gas station it was like a half mile so i walked down there i didn't want to unhook the trailer there was nowhere to pull it in so i walked down and they've got this deal where they have the e-scooters oh you just ran them yeah <laughs> so it was like a half mile back thing ran 16 miles an hour so i stacked you my drinks what? up on the floor plate stood on the back fender and rode it back it was a dollar and 29 cents that was way better than walking <laughs> a half mile <laughs> you know what i did hmm. i did not bring my daggone adjustable back with me you know what you did wasn't there a fitting in the top of that I mean, there was the fuel pressure fitting, but I don't ever check it out. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. I thought it was like a return line or something. No. Dang, I need my adjuster. I'll go get it. Where's it at? Where's it working? Yeah. Where have one of those explode? What? Fuel pumps. Uh, no. I mean, if I'm going to part, they were in an explosion, though. Uh, it's probably going to be good if it exploded. Yeah. Think got on fire. No, you're probably right about that. And it leads down the line to the fuel tanks, and then now we're nervous about a lot. Now you're talking catastrophic failure. Fuel temp sensors hooked back up. I had a little cold start in the service truck, too. Did you? Yeah. Good start. It was dead. Yeah, we need to get some batteries for it. That boosted it off. It's cold though. <laughs> he doesn't get a cold start. Black smoke. Uh, white smoked. White smoked. And black smoked. It's all. Uh, you hooked up now. Well, that thing's full. Yes, all the way to the top. I wonder why that is, Brax. Is it full fuel or it doesn't have any? Yeah, look, it's full fuel. Mm -hmm. Put the address on that paper. Dude, look at that filter. It's plumb full. When I first started it, we accidentally put, filled it all the way up in accident. I wonder how that happens, because it was only an inch up a couple of days ago. I know, that's when it, uh, last night, I wonder if it's because I pulled the slime loose. Lead bag. dash layout in these trucks is going to make it a challenge to get everything around. All right. Let's see if it'll start. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Start, start. Come on, honey. Come to life. Cold start, kind of. But, I know. <laughs> You, that's about 
long as we're going to start her. Yeah. How's it feel? We get some fluid. Okay. Hey, we got a whole box. So good. Mama, he wants to be friends with the little donkey. Friends with Bella. Alright, turn her over. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Start. Maybe a fitting or something, like when we put the motor in it, maybe a fuel fitting got swapped around. It could be a little bit of anything. We're gonna figure it out though. a huge problem so the feed line like down there is that thing should have primed right up with a new fuel pump so the feed line was completely gummed up with algae So the feed line was completely clogged up with algae. So uh, we took all that apart, cleaned it out, put all new filters on it, um, cleaned the filter base out. I think we got the problem fixed. Cause that sucker, as soon as we primed it back up, put the fuel back in it, it just gurgled it down and caught prime without any kind of help. It just boom, 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 boom fired right off. It's a truck, it's such a nightmare. If you even change the fuel filter on it, it's crazy. So once I hit that line with air, that thing blew out and fuel went everywhere. Just poof. Right. So I've been getting fuel, but just, just enough to make it run. And run easy. Oh yeah, it already sounds way better. Life of a trucking company, man. Okay. Guys, we have no heat in this truck. Yeah. You guys, me and Prax headed. We've got a load of drugs on. We can literally say that. Because that's what it is. It's a load of, uh, um, the, we're hollering for the big pharma. <laughs> um, we got a load of, uh, I don't know what they are. I just know that they are very, they're super, super strict on these loads like this. So I don't know what it is exactly, but I know that they are, golly, bum. they called me 40 times this morning. Um, they got 
two trackers. I got a tracker and a trailer. Tracker on the phone. And you gotta let them track you. Come on. Seats 
man. It was, golly, bum, it was stout. For an everyday driver, this thing's like, these supercharged F-150s are like 700 horsepower. Mm -hmm. As a daily driver, man, that'd be so fun. But I forged it since now. I took it back off the road. I should've never put it back on the road. I should've never put it on the road. I should've just left it off the road. And... But I'm thinking about trading the Dodge in. But that thing's already got 240,000 miles on it. It's been reliable. Should I run it to a million, you know, or should I? Trucks are still in really good shape. Yeah. I don't know what to do. All right, man. Not a good place to be riding bicycle. Yeah. We got to share the road. I understand that. All right. something else when we're up there delivering but for the most part this is pretty much any time we pick up pharmaceuticals and bring them back down so we did have to get insurance for pharmaceuticals and there's a whole bunch of you got to have certain year model trailers that's why i bought the newer trailers and you know they're pretty strict like you're it's straight through you got to go pick it up come deliver it. and luckily we have a yard you know we uh this me repowering this load last night, I had to call them and tell them, uh, hey, we've got to repower a load. You know, driver's in, he got just enough hours to get to the yard. You can't, there's nowhere to park in Knoxville at night. They're just saying. So they didn't want him parking here and they didn't want him uh, um, sitting out on the street. That's another thing about pharmaceuticals. They don't want you sitting on the street. And they really don't want you sitting in a truck stop. So it was a straight third run. He loaded it from straight here. They wouldn't take it. So I had to call him back, hey, you know, I'm not gonna let him sit up there with a load of drugs on him in Knoxville. And uh, I said, I'm gonna bring him back here, put him in a gated lot, and I'll deliver it in the morning. So that's what we done. And they were good with it. So that worked out pretty good. I'm gonna get this thing warmed up. That's why we're not, we don't have really good heat. Look, it's only running 160 degrees. Mm -hmm. All right, door number 38, Holly. That's where we're headed. 38. Come on, man, get back. We need just as much break. Yeah. We gotta get a thing for the front of the truck, too. I've got one of those things that 
clip on the front. Yeah. I think we took the clips off of it and went down the grill. Yeah, we did. Because, like, sitting here idling, we finally got it up to 175 degrees and we got heat. Go check it out. Gentryandsonstrucking.com, baby. Get you a sweet hat, shirt, hoodie. It don't matter. You want it, we got it. Mm. If we don't got it, let me know. We'll make it. <laughs> no, it should do. We're trying to get the merch game up. We're trying to, we want to build some projects. We want to work on some trucks, get some better projects going. We can't do it without the money. Mm. This world relies on money. Mm. Man, that cider truck, how'd they get back here before me? Just let you back it in, but if 
probably be better you bagging it in, wouldn't it? entertains oh man they're running free grooves and this truck looks like it's been sitting here a while yeah. it's greased these mags i'll tell you what i'm really a firm believer in these mag trucks i think i'm gonna get a whole fleet of mags and the automatics do really good with them. I've drove two automatics now, and I actually like them. It wasn't driving 2022, it was 2021, 23. <laughs> that one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's got a IFTA for 21, 22. No, it's got a 23 on it. Oh, oh it's not. These Macs have definitely been sitting here for a minute. You done taking the place out? The dark horse? Yeah, it's a drift package. No, well, should do. What's your first car gonna be? I want a Supra. Supra. There's one sitting right over there. You know they're making money here. Look, everybody's in there driving a new Dodge, new race car, new Dodge diesel, Chevy okay. diesel, Hellcats, Supras, Mercedes, lifted <laughs> trucks. I mean, you guys, it looks like CVS is where you need to be working. Big scat pack car, 392 car. Emmy. I like that color. Metallic's pretty. Come on, Holly. Come on, honey. Run, demon. Since she's a demon, you should be a demon. Oh, yeah? Holly needs a demon to ride around in. Come on, demon. You know we should do one day? <laughs> She's so funny. Like me. Alright guys, we're empty. <clears throat> Heck yeah. So this trailer's gotta go right back to the yard, get cleaned out, and then straight to uh, pick up another load. I've got three more of these coming here next week. And three loads going up. So 
soon as we can get this thing back to the yard and cleaned out, we can get it ready for another load. First round, just like it should. left in the trailer <laughs> I always double check make sure there's no product left in the trailer work with CVS they're simple I mean it's they're they're simple but they're not I mean they're strict on you know making sure you're a good carrier and the loads get here on time and everything goes the way it's supposed to so when you do a good job for them man they really take care of you
C6s and C7s. Check out this beautiful classic we're running with. We've been playing up and out there. <laughs> I gotta get Rooster cleaned up when we get back. This dust is killing me in our parking lot. We can't let that happen. I don't care to play a little bit. I can't let you out pull me now. I can't let you out pull me. We can, do, we can run with each other. And show my dominance real quick. Paint that motor paint. Kenny did. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, come on. We should line up here and here. Uh, come on around with it. Wish you may have jumped time, huh? I ain't never seen this before, guys. The darn compressor locked up. That hurts my feelings. Brand new motor in it. 
Yeah, you just built this building, didn't you? Did you just build this motor? That compressor is only three months old, four months old. It ain't gonna line up, is it? He says it's running like two stroke. I mean, the bull gear could have jumped time, but man, that crank gear still looks good. It's weird. I don't hear any valves clanking or... No, all the valves are not pretty good. So it all looked like it was... Yeah, all the caps are in the same. Oh, yeah, it's still in. Yeah, it looks good there. I bet it's going to be just fine. We're just trying to get in time. Up. I don't know yet. Yep, we're still, we're about 180 out here too. You got a new bull gear for it yet? Not yet. Should be here later today. Okay. Kenworth don't get here till about three o'clock. All right. I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys. So this thing is 180 degrees out, I believe. So we're gonna come in in the morning. We're gonna pull the ejector out of it, get it up on top dead center, put a new bull gear in it, new compressor, and see if we can't get it back running. It's a new, it's a new motor. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, baby, let's go. Man, we just put new batteries on this thing and it's still, well, it started good that time. Earlier, it didn't want to start. All right, let's go. We gotta go fix some trucks and guys, I got a lot of work coming out of here buddy here he's got a bunch of trucks so uh we've been doing some work with him on the side yeah them two uh freight liners right there we're getting ready to sell them he's gonna clean them up and put the side fairings on them they got isx's in them they're both under a million miles yeah, that's the sister to my truck. He bought that one and I got the other one. Okay, guys. We just made it back to the shop. The 389's back, so that means Bryce and Tim's back from the Weston trip. So far, everything went good with that. Uh, I think Weston had some issues with his truck out there. But as far as the trailer and all the cars getting out there and getting back to his place, it went good. So Bryce is back. And we're going to start editing the video, and uh, we'll be getting that thing out to you as soon as we can. Guys, this week's going to be a great week for content. I'm excited to start sharing some stuff with you. A lot of new things happening, but I'll see you on the next one. This one's this one turned out pretty long, so um, we love you guys, and uh, see you tomorrow.